Coach, um, what's your uh, plan for Josh, and how did he look today in his first practice with the Atlanta Falcons? Yeah, our plan for Josh is obviously give him a fair shot this week. You know, we got to get him ready to play. He's going to play Sunday night. How long will determine on Saturday, but you're going to see him out there. So, and that's the only fair thing to do. You give him a guy, we sign him. We got to figure out this backup quarterback spot. So you'll see him play at some point Sunday night. And we'll just see how it goes. You know, it's, uh, the way you know we kind of look at the roster, it's it's always fluid, and we'll continue to look to improve it in any way possible at every position. So uh, we're excited he's here, and he'll be given every opportunity like everybody else is on the roster. How do you look today? Well, you know, it's just day one. Uh, I'm not a big hot take guy. Uh, you know, if I've done everything we've asked him so far, and we'll go in there, we'll add some more uh, some more plays for him tomorrow, and see what see how he handles it. My biggest hot take you've ever had? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the preseason ones are my favorite. We pulled up some good ones uh, the last 20 years. But, uh, yeah, I, I, try not, I try to stay away from those predictions because you end up looking, well, at least my, my, my hot takes have not been so, uh, haven't aged well. Let's end up the layout. Uh, Josh Andrews got hurt there. Maybe Correct. He's, he's good. Crap. Crap. Yeah. Okay. And Mike Davis is out of uh, It's a personal thing. He'll be, he should be back. Yeah, he's dealing with the personal matter. Uh, so, oh, it's almost, it's you're looking at, uh, I know you talked yesterday about, you know, about getting all the running backs and needing. Right. Is that part of why you guys moved on from Vadian as well? Like there's just too many running backs and you need to get guys work. Well, there's too many, and, I, and this isn't like a knock on on Javian. It's just, you know, the way the rules are. I mean, we had to make moves after every preseason game. A couple years ago, it was different. You carried 90 all the way through the fourth preseason, so you've got to make moves. Um, you know, everybody we talked to, it's not the end of the road for them whether that's here or somewhere else. I think that's uh, short side. I've certainly worked with a number of players who've you know, been let go and they've gotten opportunities other places or maybe at the same spot. Um, now I can think of a guy that, that Josh Kalu was a safety we had um, who came back and made one of the biggest plays in the 19 season when he blocked the, the field goal to beat Kansas City at home. So, you know, you just never know. I, I, the thing is, I'm, um, it's a hard profession and, and I appreciate these guys that sign up for it. And they come in here, and then unfortunately, we got to make moves. Jeff, um, when will you decide how many or what starters will play? Uh, Probably Saturday. Uh, we're we're going to, the thing that we're doing is, you know, we're still in training camp mode. We've also adjusted the schedule to get us in a little bit of a rhythm, what the regular season week would look like. Uh, we're not going too crazy with the game plan. I don't think you'll see a lot of teams do that unless they want to scheme up a player or two to show something or whatever. But, uh, we still got to, you know, we got to make a lot of decisions by Tuesday. So we'll prepare these guys. They got to play, play a game Sunday night, but we'll make that final call probably Saturday. I, I understand the concern of you know, keeping guys healthy, obviously. Sure. But is there value, particularly with new scheme, wanting to see the starting offense in there? Or? Yeah, you, you take it all on it, you know, Jeff. Um, that, those are certainly, you know, those are, that's under consideration. And, you know, our objective is then to make sure we get, Guys evaluated, try to build depth with the young guys. Sure, you're going to sacrifice uh, certain maybe stats or whatever when you're going through it because you've got to get these guys to play. At some point, we're going to rely on these young guys, whether it's this season or next, and then nothing that replaces the, the game experience. Uh, you know, if, I was in, if we had a younger quarterback situation, maybe I'd be a little more concerned. I'm not really concerned with Matt. And that's dictating our decision here in Atlanta. And like I said, that, that's the fun part about this job. And, I kind of like the way the schedule is. It allows people to be creative. It's not just the cookie cutter. Every day you see teams doing a lot of different things, and everybody's got to make the best decision for their team, and we feel pretty good about where we're at. I think everything's a possibility, yeah. I mean, you just, you just never know. It's hard for me to say today we're only going to keep two or we keep three. You know, um, Ragone was trying to come out. of. He wanted to play against Cleveland Saturday, Sunday night, but uh, Rich said they wouldn't, they wouldn't let him. Uh, give the exemption. I know. So, but he was he was lobbying for himself to play against his hometown team. But no, seriously, we'll make that determination. Obviously, as we get into Monday night and Tuesday, everything's on the table. Though. By the way, it would have been the quarterback who came in last week. Uh, oh, it would have been one of our wideouts. I mean, no, it's close. That's the second time. It's the closest it's gotten to it. I mean, I'm being serious now. When when they got that uh, rough in the pass on Felipe. Um, 
we're close to going home to go get that, that wristband. The only time that's happened a couple years ago, unfortunately, when Marcus went out and Castle took a shot, we were close to it there when I was in Tennessee. So not a great feeling. Sure. Yeah, like, certainly it does. Like? Yeah, because you know we we had a obviously the the, the off season, the practices, everything leading up with the quarterbacks that were here with AJ and Felipe, and now we added Josh, and we want to make sure that we give them enough of a sample size. So yeah, it, it definitely can change your plan. You got to be flexible because unfortunately things like that happen in the NFL, and yes, it does. When you were kind of talking on Monday about having to go through a situation where you had to bring in. Yeah. yeah. How you had to bring him in and basically sit down with him for an entire day just to get everything through his head. Is Josh going to have to go through something similarly this week, or is it a little? Got a little more time. time. Yeah. Got a little more time, but um, you know we'll do what's you know I, we're not going to. I haven't subscribed to just you know throwing them to the wolves. I mean we'll get them prepared as, as we would a professional, but it's not like we're going to say hey here's everything's on the table Sunday night. Here you go, bud. Um, we'll we'll have it packaged for him. To give him a fair shot, and, and he's handled everything. I mean, he's he's a smart guy. He's been in a couple of different systems. So, but yeah, you with a Thursday night, that that thing gets uh, that's tricky. Yeah, yeah, it's quick turnaround. Charles, I know your focus is on uh, your team right now, but I wonder if you um, can can talk about uh, moving into the NFC South, where you're, you're coming to a division where the team that won the Super Bowl still wasn't mm-hmm. good enough to win the division last year. And sure. What's your what's your thoughts on this? Yeah, um, obviously, when you're in the other conference, you're going to play. You know. A, team like you know these teams every four years uh, even though you know maybe geographically close but yeah this is a, this is a tough division so obviously the Saints they, they I believe they won four straight division titles is that correct and and Sean Payton and his staff and and I know Drew, Drew Brees is retired but they won a lot of football games and sustained success so we've got all the respect in the world for New Orleans and then you're looking at Tampa you're right I mean and that's and it just shows you too that's a team that kept improving obviously they've got Got Tom Brady down there, and he's won seven Super Bowls. So this division is full of challenges. And then you got Carolina, uh, good staff. They've added a lot of lot of players, a lot of good players the last two years, and so it's a tough division. So, yeah, I mean there is some unfamiliarity. Uh, we'll get jump right into it week two. Chris, uh, how do you think uh, Charles London has been doing with the quarterbacks? Are you impressed by what he's been doing? Absolutely. Uh, I, Charles is one of the better coaches I've, I've been around. I was fortunate to. Share office with Charles ten years ago, in Tennessee, and we've we've stayed in uh, close contact and and good friends. But it's not, I didn't hire him because he's a good friend. I hired him because he's a great football coach, and he's done a really good job transitioning his role. And we're happy he's on this team. Tori? Um, Christian Blake being the Chargers. What more do you need to see from him before we get to next season? A lot of these guys. I mean, those guys play multiple spots. In the receiver room, They're both very smart players, a little bit different, but both have been productive in the NFL. So, uh, you know, th- those guys are they're valuable. Those are the guys that are when you're up on game day, if you're not the, the, the top two guys, you got to be able to play multiple spots, and both those guys can do that. So, there's been good competition in that room. See you yeah, um, just uh, two, I'll do them together. Just what Spriggs update, how did he look? He finally been getting some action. Sure. And then special teams wise, um, you know, we're talking uh, to William tomorrow. How important is that when y'all are doing the roster? I know, uh, you know, the back huge. end goes that 53 to uh, 40 spot is, you know, special teams. Yeah, it, it's bigger than that, you know, and then obviously your game day roster. With, with Spriggs, again, we bring him along. He was coming off an injury from last season, worked him out. We didn't expect him to, you know, he, again, he was recovering through an injury, but we've been, he's been coming along and we're happy with his progress. So you know, pleased with him. Uh, special teams, that's a, that's a huge decision for us, D-Led, not only to make the 53, but who are you going to put up on game day? Uh, th- those are critical decisions, especially when you get down there. All right, who's your fourth receiver, fifth, or you carry six? Is that guy you know, a core fourth guy? Same thing with the DBs, outside linebacker, tight ends. That's, that's an enormous uh, decision. And you know, we, we, we value guys that do play on fourth down or play in the kicking game. All right. Appreciate it. Uh, Thank you.